Well, hello everybody. It's me, Kelly. Hope y'all having a great day. We almost made it to Friday. Yay, we're over the hump. Yay. Um, this will fill you in a little bit on my uh, first video. Um, nothing's really came of that so far. Um, he, um, I think it's his wife, my ex-husband. She's a little crazy. You know what I mean? And uh, I think she's the one that sent me that dirty text. So I'm just going to let it go. And if uh, anything becomes of it, I guess I'll just have to go follow a DVP against all of them. Hate to do that, but might might have to. Well, um, fill you in a little bit about myself. I'm just, I'm a widow. I'm a, I hate to say I'm 59 years old. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. And uh, I used to be a horse trainer, a trail guide. I got hurt pretty bad training a horse. Went over a 50 foot cliff and dislocated my whole body. So, uh, I'm still suffering a little bit for that. Um, what else? Uh, I got type 2 diabetes. I don't know if anybody else out there has got it, but it's a really pain in the butt. Um, fibromyalgia. I mean, that, that in itself is just horrible. So, combining a lot of other things going on, I got going on, you know, I'm, I'm living, I'm, I'm getting there. Um. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to get these uh, numbered out because I know a lot of people in their videos, they don't put like what number it is of their videos coming out. And, you know, you might say, it might say new and it could come up from 2015. This is one that you missed, you know. So, um, that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Well, um. I'm uh, living out of West Virginia. I'm an official hillbilly. <laughs> if you can believe that. Yeah, probably from the tone of my voice. You can tell I'm straight up out of the hills. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, if you, I, I kind of want to start doing some of these uh, urban exploration videos, you know. But i got to get a camera first. I don't have a camera. I'm just using a computer right now i mean it's okay but it's it's not it's not perfect like most people's videos are i don't claim to be perfect i'm not perfect either so i just i use what i got you know that's what you gotta do you just use what you got until you can get something else and i have to also apologize for the color of my hair um it was supposed to be titanium kind of the steel gray color everybody's sporting yeah, well, I put it on my head, bleached my hair out till the part, till it literally melted. That's why it looks the way it does right now. My, yeah, my hair melted. And um, instead of turning a steel gray, it turned blue. So I've been looking on YouTube trying to figure out how to change this around and make it either a silver or a gray. So, I think there's another color that I have to put on over top. This is supposed to be titanium. This is supposed to be gray, and it didn't. It turned blue. And I have no idea why. So, I've been watching some videos. So, I think I have to add another color on top of it, and it'll neutralize this out, and then it will turn it that silver gray everybody's wearing. Oh, my God, that is so beautiful. So, I've been stuck with blue hair twice now. Try to use another one over the counter from, like, a drugstore. And then the second one, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply. So this lady there told me that um, this is what you need to get. So she got me the, the thing of bleach, you know, the powder bleach. And then she got me a 40 volumizer, which I should have only had a 20. That's what I found out where she messed up. She said, that's why your hair melted. You used the 40. I said, well, that's what she told me. You, she said, no, you only needed a 20. So... I have to go back up there and take up what I've got and show her and I'll probably end up going to have to buy more stuff. I mean this cost me $60 as it was. Three tubes of titanium, the bleach and a volumizer. 
So um, I'm going up there again, and I'm going to try to see what can be done. I mean, there's got to be some, I could put over top of this to to change it. I mean, there's there's got to be. I don't know. Some, there's got to be somebody out there that knows what they're doing. But, you know, I don't want to go to a, I might have to go to a salon and, man, that'll run into some money, man. That'll be probably like two, three hundred bucks to get this fixed. So, I'm going to try to figure out a way how to fix it myself, okay? So, um, what are y'all doing out there? Has anybody got anything new? Uh, you got a ghost story you want to tell me or anything exciting about your life? Put it in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell, as everybody says in their videos. I don't have any merch to sell. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I do have gemstones for sale, though, if anybody's interested. I've got quite a few of those. I've got about 200 carats worth of ge real gemstones, and they're beautiful. They're, you know, uh, faceted, and just, I, I love it. I, lo I love using a metal detector and, and going out and finding things, and, um, you know, going places where nobody's probably been in a couple hundred years and snoop around with, you know, with my metal detector. And a lot of things that people don't realize, it's like silverware, spoons, picture frames, stuff like that. That's, that's worth some money. And you might not think it is because it might have mold or something on it. But I'll tell you what, all you need to do is put some straight up apple cider vinegar on it. And they'll kill any mold that's in there and then let it dry and wipe it down with, you know, with some kind of a wood polish and it, it's fine it's absolutely fine i wish i had something here i could show you but i, I really don't um we kind of been uh remodeling in the house so it's it's a mess and uh my son got his business license for the first time he's real excited about that it's called Kinsler's simple services and he's a handyman he's really good and i'm so proud of him um, he suffers from a head injury. He, he got beat down and was in a coma. So he's got like, concrete embedded in the back of his head. And it's starting to calcify into like a cone shape and point. And it's going into his brain. So he has about five seizures a day. And I'm not even joking about that. So the uh, neurologist we had, um, he died in a horrible car accident. So... Now we're trying to uh, find somebody else that will operate on it and get that out of there. And then he won't have seizures anymore. And I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, I'm glad about that. So, um, I don't know. This is video number two. Dos. Um, I just hope people keep coming back because I know it's kind of boring right now. Because I'm really trying to figure out content and... You know, what to say and what to do and what everybody wants wants to hear or stuff that they, you know, they just want to know. And if I, if I can tell you something about anything, I'll tell you. But um, I try not to lie. I really hate to lie because it just snowballs and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just, it's not worth it. I mean, telling the truth might hurt a little bit, but in the long run, it's not going to hurt near as much as telling a lie. So I try to avoid that just about at all costs, except for, you know, maybe birthdays and holidays and Christmas. You know, you don't want to tell everybody what you got, what you got for them. You know, the presents, you don't want to give them a hint because they'll be in there ripping that stuff apart. <laughs> um, let's see. I like dogs. I love dogs. Uh, got, I got one little kitty cat. All the rest of them kind of died on me all the dogs and everything died i got a neighbor's dog he comes over if you've seen him or not in any of my pictures uh, his name's biscuit he's one of those coon dogs he's got that real distinctive bark if you know what i mean <coughs> sorry about that i got bronchitis i've been real sick for about a month now can't get in and see a doctor so i had to talk to uh my insurance agent through the state you know state insurance and um, she's going to try to help me uh, get back into my doctor's appointments because i got to have surgery again. Oh, I'm dreading it. They're doing reconstructive bowel surgery. Don't tell anybody. Oh, my God. It's going to be so bad. 
I'm dreading that. Oh, this is going to take about six months to heal up. Be on liquids the entire time, so I'm sure I'm going to be losing a little bit more weight. Oh, speaking of weight, uh, I used to weigh 400 pounds when I had my horse horse business. Yeah. And now I'm down about 150. Been down for a long time. I kind of plateaued off. You know, you go up a little bit, and you plateau off for a while, and, or you you know, go and you go down a little bit, and then you plateau off. Well, I've been I've been doing that, so I'm trying to get down to maybe 125, 130, and uh, I got a settlement coming in. So when I get that, I'm getting a facelift. Yay! <laughs> it's called a micro lift. They do it in their office. It takes about an hour. A life lift. I don't know if you've ever seen the commercials on TV. They're about I don't know, it takes less than an hour, and I guess it's probably around $1,000, maybe a little more. But um, I think I'm going to do it, because if I could do anything to make you look younger than my daughter. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I won't do it. Just to piss her off. <laughs> don't tell her. If you know me, don't tell her. Don't tell her. I just want it to be a surprise when I come down there to her house, and I'm right like, sporting a new face. And, oh, it's going to be great. I love it. So, I got a few things coming up, you know, in the future. And, um, if anything happens, you know, I'll, I'll come out and put it out. I'm going to try to at least do one a week, maybe something, just say a little something till I get the hang of this. You know, I'm, I'm still new. And, um, I just, I just hope everything works out because I see other people struggling on their YouTube channels with, you know, be demonetizing and whatever, and I hope that doesn't happen to me. Uh, I mean, I like to think that my videos will be uh, child friendly, or and uh, hopefully with very little cussing, unless I get really mad. My son, I tell you what, sometimes he gets on my last nerve, but I love him because he's my son. But I don't have to like what he does. <laughs> no, that wasn't in the contract. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, well, I want to wish everybody a good Thursday and get ready for Friday. It's almost here, just a few hours away. So, um, um, before y'all leave, give me a hug. Love y'all. Bye.